Welcome to a lesson on evaluating algebraic expressions. An expression in which some or all of the terms contain variables is an algebraic expression or a variable expression. If the value of the variables is known, we can evaluate the expression. So to evaluate an algebraic or variable expression, we substitute the value of the variables into the expression and then evaluate using the order of operations. So for example, if we have the expression 5x minus 12, and we're also given that x equals 17, we replace the variable x with the value of 17, and then evaluate the expression. So here we'd have 5 times 17 minus 12. Well, 5 times 17 is 85, and then 85 minus 12 is equal to 73. Let's go ahead and review the order of operations before we do a few more examples. So remember, there are four steps to the order of operations. Number one, we'll evaluate inside the parentheses or grouping. Number two, we'll evaluate the exponents. Number three, we'll multiply and divide from left to right as it occurs. And number four, we'll add and subtract from left to right. So let's go ahead and look at several examples. So here we're given that x equals negative three, y equals seven, and z equals negative two. And we want to evaluate x minus three y plus seven. So we'll replace x with negative three and y with positive seven. So I have negative three minus three times seven plus seven. Now following the order of operations, we're gonna multiply next. So minus three times seven becomes minus 21. Now we work our way from left to right, subtracting and adding. So we'll have negative three minus 21, that's negative 24. Negative 24 plus seven gives us negative 17. This next example, it's the same process. We have two times x squared, but x is now negative three, plus five times y, y is seven, minus z to the third power, and z is equal to negative two. And so now we'll evaluate this using the order of operations. There's nothing we can do inside the parentheses, so next we'll take a look at the exponents. Negative three squared would be positive nine, and negative two raised to the third power would be equal to negative eight. Now we'll go ahead and multiply. So two times nine is equal to 18, plus five times seven is equal to 35. Now here we have minus negative eight, and that'll become plus positive eight. And now performing the addition from left to right, we have 18 plus 35 plus eight. 18 plus 35 would be 53, plus eight would be 61. Now we have y equals positive two, and we want to evaluate this expression here. So we replace y with positive two. Next, there's no parentheses that we can simplify. There's no exponents, so we will multiply and divide now from left to right. Now here we have a fraction. This does mean nine divided by two. So it really depends if we want to have our final answer in fraction form or decimal form. Let's go ahead and rewrite this in decimal form. So nine divided by two would be 4.5 minus eight times two, that's 16 plus two. And now we'll perform the addition and subtraction from left to right. So we have 4.5 minus 16, it's gonna be negative 11.5 plus two, which equals negative 9.5. If we wanted this in fraction form, that would be the same as negative nine and one half, or we could write this as negative 19 halves, all of which are equivalent, just in different forms. Here we have x equals three and y equals negative five, so we'll have four times x, which is three, minus three times y squared, but y is negative five, so I'll have negative five squared. Next, we'll evaluate negative five squared. That'll be four times three minus three times negative five squared is positive 25. Now we'll multiply, so three times four would be 12 minus three times 25 is equal to 75. 
And then finally, 12 minus 75 is equal to negative 63. And let's try another. Here we have x equals negative two, so we'll substitute negative two in for x. So we'll have three times negative two to the third power minus negative two squared plus two times negative two plus nine. Next, we'll simplify the exponents. Negative two raised to the third power is equal to negative eight. Negative two squared would be positive four. And now we'll multiply three times negative eight equals negative 24. Here we'll have minus four plus two times negative two, that's negative four, and then plus nine. So now we'll add and subtract from left to right. So negative 24 minus four, that'll be negative 28. Then negative 28 plus negative four, that'll be negative 32. And then lastly, negative 32 plus nine equals negative 23. Let's go and take a look at one more example. Here we have x equals two and y equals negative three. So the numerator will be two squared times negative three squared over x squared, which would be two squared, minus two times y to the third will become negative three to the third. So what we'll do here is evaluate the numerator and denominator separately, and then lastly, simplify the fraction. So two squared would be four, and negative three squared would be nine. Our denominator, we're gonna have four minus two times negative three cubed is equal to negative 27. Our numerator is gonna be 36, in the denominator, we'll have four minus negative 54, which will become plus 54. So this fraction is 36 over 58. These both have a common factor of two. So in simplified form, the fraction would be 18 over 29. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.